Hello, hello! Welcome back to Christ Shines in My Life. If you're new, welcome to. Hey guys, so this is my first video being made in my new house. So I know you guys have been like, where has she been? If you guys happen to watch my last Passover video, you will know that I was moving. <laughs> and that video even took a long time to get edited and uploaded and out to you all. So I apologize for that. Um, but here I am. I am back. So um, there's just been a lot going on, guys. So after we moved in, my husband, my husband was having issues with his health on certain things. And we needed lots of prayers for that. And luckily, he's doing so much better. Praise Abba. And um, it's just been kind of crazy, guys. But I want to first say, um, I'm going to be uploading this. I'm going to try to up upload this the same day as my two-year anniversary on YouTube. So that is May 11. So this should be uploaded on the same day, ideally. That's the plan. But um, thank you all so much for all of you who keep coming back and watching these videos and supporting this channel. I appreciate each and every one of you, each and every soul watching this video right now. And if this is your first time coming and clicking on one of my videos, thank you so much for being here and truly welcome. All right. So you guys, um, I just want to be open and honest and have more of a I don't even know what the word is. Just an open discussion about what I've been going through, okay? So there's been so many challenges with me and my husband living in our new home. Just different things have been going on. And um, like I said, with his health and just different things. And, you know, we already know this, you guys. The trials, like, they like ebb and flow, right? It's like um, you might get over one trial and then, surprise, there's another new trial. And by the way, if I'm trying to look down, it's because of I'm trying to have decent lighting. I don't know if I should have raised my... Um, laptop. I don't know, guys. I'm trying not to have a glare on my glasses, and I'm facing a window. <laughs> Luckily, I think I'll have a lot better lighting here than I did at my apartment. So, woohoo! So, praise Abba for that. It'll be a lot easier to record. So, I don't even have my ring light on right now, and this is the kind of lighting I'm getting, and it was a little bit forecast. It was a little forecast outside. Not too bad, and not bad right now. So, that's good. All right, you guys. Sorry if I sound like I'm rambling already out of the gate. <laughs> Trying to figure out how how I want to talk about this topic. Um, so just bear with me, guys. If you're still here. Thank you. All right. So one thing I know is it's easy to be a light in this dark world when we're not struggling as much personally ourselves, right? It's easy to put ourselves out there to encourage other people and be that source of comfort and, pr and pray for them and, um, you know, feel like rock solid in our faith, okay? But I'm going to have this be a very real, real relatable video for anybody, anybody watching this. It's going to be extremely relatable because whether you're a Christian or not, there's going to be times in your life that you're going to struggle more than other times. And my last video, and it's so funny because when I put that video out, I was like, Lord, I just know a spiritual attack is coming. <laughs> And I know it sounds weird. I know it might sound, maybe I shouldn't think like that, but I'm going to be honest and I'm going to be upfront. Okay. So anytime I get a certain message, message out like that, that I feel is so holy spirit filled, so powerful that I know is the Holy Spirit speaking through me, or I feel very strongly that it's the Holy Spirit speaking through me. Um, I always know around the bend there's going to be a major spiritual attack, okay? I just always feel it. I, it's not that I want it to happen, but I try to mentally prepare to some degree. And I'm just going to be up front. For months now, it's been a challenge. There's been certain challenges, you know, and, um, you know, and I, and I still, I still am in his word every day, um, still praying every day. But certain things that have been kind of robbing me of my time, um, Certain unexpected events, right, has caused it to where I've struggled to spend even more time with him. And though I've still been giving him, giving him my mornings and nights when we pray as a family and read our scriptures together, I haven't been having that one-on-one -on -one, um, with Abba as much. And, you know, it's crazy how you'll think you overcame something, okay? Like, you'll be like, oh, I'm good, I'm good in this area. Like, I don't struggle with that anymore, right? <laughs> And right when you start to get so confident, it's like, here comes the test. Here comes the test, all right? So I put out a video about stinking thinking, and I've also, like, you know, and about our, our attitudes and other videos about, you know, we're in control of our attitudes. We're in control of ourselves. We're in control of how we see things and what perspective we're going to choose to have, right? 
And I've been literally tested for months now. Have I truly overcame these things, Lord? Have I truly conquered um, taking every thought captive? And I'll be honest, you guys, I have not. Okay, I have not. I need prayers. Uh, please pray over me and my family, okay? Um, I'm not going to lie to you guys and come on on these videos and pretend that I have it all together. <laughs> I'm not going to pretend, guys. I don't. Trust me, the curtain will fall, <laughs> okay? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> all right. I'm trying to throw in a joke there. But for real, like, none of us are perfect, um, when you see me make a lot of these videos, I, I'm on my game. I'm confident. I'm I'm rolling with Christ. I, I feel good. I'm in, I'm in His Word, right? But you guys, don't ever compare yourself to any single person. Okay, don't ever. That's dangerous too, in and of itself. Do not compare your walk with Christ with any human being. Okay, the only person you should compare your walk with Christ to is yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like, um genuinely evaluate yourself do a self-reflection exam on yourself and ask yourself what am i struggling with what do i need prayers for and don't be ashamed to ask people for prayers when you're struggling that is one thing i am extremely learning that hey there's times i'm going to be so vulnerable and i'm going to be like listen i need prayers and i am in one of those stages right now me and my family just certain things that are going on please keep us in your prayers um a lot of challenges and and on top of that Oh, gosh, I don't even know where to begin. Oh, God is good, though. He is faithful. He sees me through every every trial, every heartache, every everything. You know, when I when I start giving him more, more of myself and I praise and I worship, even when I don't feel like praising and worshiping, okay? Let's just be real, you guys. Let's just be candid here, okay? There's times that it's really hard for me to worship in those moments, right? But I do it anyway. Not every time. <laughs> Not every time, okay? But sometimes I do. Sometimes I do, and I say, no, Lord, I'm going to push through this. And you know what? There's so much power in worshiping Him and giving Him glory and praising Him, regardless of your circumstances, because we sh our, our love isn't conditional, right? Or it shouldn't be, okay? It shouldn't be, I love you, Lord, when things are going great. I love you, Lord, when you're answering every prayer exactly the way I want it to be answered, okay? Because that's not reality. Um, and when we are failing in certain areas of our life, or we feel like failures, because let's, let's be real, you know, God isn't finished with us yet. Okay. We haven't arrived. <laughs> we have not arrived. Um, I, at least I know I haven't. All right. I'll speak for myself. I have not arrived. All right. I am not at my destination yet. Um, luckily Abba is so merciful and I have to keep reminding myself of his mercy. You guys, he is so merciful. And I'm sorry if I'm looking down, I'm looking at myself in the screen. I try not to do that, but I do when I record from my computer. It's a bad habit. I apologize. It's hard for me to just stare at the camera the whole time. <laughs> but, um, you guys, I'm sorry if this message sounds jumbled, but I pray I'm getting through to one of you. I pray I'm getting through to one of you that no matter what trial you're going through, you guys, don't, don't compare yourself to yesterday. You know, yesterday... Well, do, do to glance back to see how far you've come. And if you're still struggling in a certain area, then just give it to Abba. Just give it to him. But try not to dwell on it, all right? There's that fine line of feeling shame because you know what you're doing is wrong. And that's a good thing if it encourages you to change because we're supposed to have that godly reverence and desire to keep God's commandments and produce good fruit, Okay. But if you're stuck in shame, then that's from Satan. Does that make sense? You guys, I've been feeling so much shame lately. Just like, oh God, I thought I had conquered these thoughts. I conquered, I thought I conquered this. And I did for a season to some degree. <laughs> and now I'm right back in the same trial. Okay. So just always remember that we're always learning. We're always growing. We're always progressing. Sometimes we'll be two steps forward and it'll feel like a giant step back. Okay. And vice versa, you know, sometimes you're, you're just, you're just rolling. You're doing so good with the Lord and then something major happens. And that's where we have to be so humble. You guys, we have to admit that we don't have it all together. No matter how strong of a believer you are, there's going to be trials. And just because you overcame that last trial from last week, there's going to be a new one right up ahead. Okay. I can promise you that there's always going to be a new challenge and it might be wrapped in a slightly different package, but Trust me, we're not finished. If you're still living and you're still breathing and there's still 
breath in your lungs, I can almost guarantee you, you're still going to be facing lots and lots more challenges. So we have to have that attitude. We have to keep that perspective that this is part of life. You know, God loves us and he's going to continue to test us and mold us and shape us. Now, what I had to remind myself of today is it's a choice, okay? It's like when somebody says, I'm getting back on my horse. All right, I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep fighting through this. It's a daily choice, okay? It's a daily choice, daily. You might have been doing great last month. You might have been doing great a week ago. And then all of a sudden today, you are struggling with depression, all right? Um, many people have men mental illness. Mental things also affect how they feel. And um, I'm really careful about what I mentioned about my own health because on, on social media or videos, just because I want to keep my mental health private, right? Because we all know that it's not the best idea to always put all your information out there. Um, so I'm a very, very, very private person, but I think you guys can read between the lines that all of us struggle and many of us struggle with depression and it may be to a smaller degree for some and a really, really extreme degree for others. And some people have to fight harder to just even keep the peace of the Lord, you know, even though they know that he is faithful and that he loves them, there's going to be many, many lies that they have to combat multiple times, um, depending on what they may have, okay, if they have a, something going on mentally, um, so kind of, you guys get what I'm saying, okay, there could be so many things, or maybe you lost a loved one, or um, you're going through big trials with your own health, and you're asking, asking God, where are you, or maybe you lost your job, or maybe your job's about to let you go because you didn't comply to certain things, I mean, it could be a gazillion things, you guys. And certain circumstances could be getting you down and you're asking, God, where are you in this current situation? All right. But I'm here to tell you he is faithful. All right. And it's okay if we don't have all the answers. It's okay if you don't know how your story is going to end. Just trust that he has a perfect plan for you. And just think and meditate on all the good things he's already done for you. All the things he's already brought you through. Okay? All those things and those heartaches that you thought you could never overcome or go through or um, that you were so scared you were going to give up and you didn't. And you were a fighter and you kept going. You kept going. You kept going. Okay, And you're still here and you're listening to this message. I want to encourage you today. You are loved by Abba. He loves you so much. And it's no mistake that you're watching this video right now. In fact, I always pray before I make these videos. And today I specifically pray Abba, I pray that you will direct the right people to this video. They need to hear it today. I pray that they will hear this and that this will be an edifying message for them. So if you are here, this is not by mistake, okay? I do believe that. And um, just hang in there, okay? Um, I was extremely encouraged because this might seem like a small thing, but for me, it was huge. <laughs> it was huge, and I felt like God showed up. I felt like God showed up in a big way that for a lot of people, they might, they might not think is that big of a deal. But... The other day I was mentioning how I was struggling and I put that on Twitter and I said I can't go into detail about what I'm struggling with, but that got such a big response and I just said, you know, mentally, like, or I can't remember if I said mentally or emotionally. I think I said emotionally I'm struggling, you know, and I asked for prayer and it got seen by over 2,000 people, put a heart next to it, you know, and I had a lot of many, many retweets and a lot of comments and I was like, oh my gosh, how am I going to respond to all these people? And I was so grateful and I was like, Lord... This is incredible. I feel seen. I feel heard. I feel validated. You know, and sometimes you are in your walk and you feel so alone and you know it's you and your and God. You're not alone, but it'll feel that way in your trial in that moment. It feels like it's just you in a little bubble, you and God, okay? A lot of times it's like that. And you feel like nobody else is in your boat, even though they are very there there very well could be other people in your boat. You know what I'm saying? They that love you and care about you and cheering cheering you on and things like that. But sometimes we don't always feel that way. And sometimes those lies creep in, even though you know it's not true. Okay. Well, I'm here to say that God showed up in that moment to show me that I do matter. He does see me. And most of my tweets hardly ever get seen, you guys. And I'm not saying they don't get seen, but like on such a small scale in comparison to that one tweet blew up. That was like the biggest response I think I've ever had on one of my tweets ever, 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 literally the whole time I've been on Twitter. And not that I even count that or look at that because I don't, I don't stress about any of that. But when you're at your very, very lowest at times, you guys, and you feel like, you know, you're just really struggling and you need that extra confirmation that somebody's there, they love you, they're listening, they're there to support you. 
You know, that meant so much to me. And many of you seen that tweet, and many of you did put a heart by it or retweeted it or commented on it. And I'm here to tell you, thank you so much. It's really hard to respond to all of you because there was such a big response, but I did retweet it. And I did say, thank you so much for all of you praying for me. And that just, I felt so much gratitude, so much gratefulness and humility and felt seen. And, <laughs> you know, so sometimes it's those small things that aren't actually small. You see that so many people are rooting for you, you know, and um, I'm rooting for you guys. I love you all so much. I really do. Ah, I get choked up. You guys matter so much to me. And, you know, there's many different health challenges I have that I don't mention on here. And, you know, some days it's just really difficult to make videos because I'm going through something. And um, sometimes I just don't have the energy. You know, I just don't. And uh, so I apologize for my lack of consistency for months now because there's just been so much going on. And I'm so busy and trying to balance my time. And then trying to, you know, feel good <laughs> because some days I just don't feel good. And um, I don't know, you guys, there's just a lot. <laughs> I'm trying not to get choked up. But, you know, God is faithful and he's with me through it all. And um, ah, I have a lot of different things I go through, just like many of you do, many different challenges in life. <laughs> um, but I'm not as transparent with certain things. I'm very, I'm a very private person, though I have a YouTube channel. I, I aid with caution on certain things I share. I really am. I really am that way. And sometimes I wish it was easier for me to share certain things because I know I know that it's going to help one of you. And so I'm trying to be more relatable on that, but also be private at the same time. <laughs> trying to find that balance it can be hard. But, um, you know, I just, I love you. I love you. And just hang in there. You matter. You matter. And you're not watching this video by mistake, okay? So let's continue to pray for each other. Let's continue to lift each other up in prayer and continue on with our journey, you guys. Continue on to finish our strong, our, our race strong into Yeshua's arms, you know? He's got a perfect plan. We don't have to know how it ends, you guys. That is hard for many of us who like to have control over a lot of things in our life. We're, you know, we're planners, right? We like to plan. We like to but you know, God is faithful. We don't have to know all the details. We just don't. And that's where faith comes in, right? Things hoped for but aren't seen yet, right? We, we don't have to see it yet. We don't have to know the finished product. We just have to know that we are willing to let him do that finished work in us. And that's what he told me. Alicia, are you going to trust my word? Are you going to continue to put your faith and hope in me? I'm sorry, you guys might hear my family laughing in the background. <laughs> I told them, please be quiet. I'm going to go make a video. You might hear them. They're downstairs, but um, we just kind of, so we have a basement at this place, a finished basement. We've never had that and it's kind of fun. So it'll be easier for me to make videos as well for that reason. Um, yeah. So ah, you guys hang in there. I'm praying for so many of you on Twitter as well. I really am. And my, I need to pray for everybody. Well, I pray for the whole world, obviously, because we're all going through something, but uh, <laughs> All right, guys, I'm rambling. Thank you so much for my two years. Thank you so much that I've, you know, I'm here. I've been here for two years now on YouTube. If you guys forget, I also have a Brighteon account. I don't upload there that often. It's the exact same channel name, Christ Shines My Life. I usually will take certain videos here that I feel led to upload there and upload them as well. But not every video gets uploaded over there. I'm trying to be better about uploading there as well. Um, and again, the whole merch thing, I just put on pause. There was my reason. I had reasons. I thought about doing merch again, but I'm just not sure. I'm kind of waiting on Abba because he's directing certain things in my life and trying to figure out where to put my time and energy, you know, kind of thing. But um, he is faithful and he'll guide you and just just wait on the Lord. Be still. Okay, you guys, what if you're, if it, many of you are waiting on him. Many of you are wondering, Lord, what next? Just be still, guys, and be in his presence and be in his word. And be willing to humble yourself and take an exam of yourself and be like, okay, this is what I struggle with, and I have to admit it to the Lord, and I have to tell him I'm sorry and give it back to him and ask him for forgiveness in this area. Once again, if it's something you're still struggling with, okay? Okay? Sometimes it's hard for me to take every thought captive. All right? I'll be honest. Um, thought I overcame that 
still work in progress, guys. <laughs> You're not alone. Okay, you are not alone. <laughs> all right, I love you all so much. And I will see you in my next video. Do, do, do. Love you guys. Bye-bye.